those, my parents splitting up affected me. Like, um, I wasn't really an emotional person. Um, and then as soon as like my dad left, I used to cry all the time. And now I find it hard to cry in front of people because I don't know if it's really acceptable because I know like my mum would cry, but she'd never admit it. And she'd, she'd try and hide away. So that's what I did. Um, kind of made me an argumentative person as well because if I get angry, I'm not scared to voice my opinion on someone. That's about it. It affected me at the time, like mentally, and I wanted to be left alone really. I'd sit up in my room or I wouldn't speak as much. Uh, I wouldn't eat as much. And my, you definitely saw it in school. My, be, my behaviour was going worse and my grades were just going down. I was always angry. And then if I got angry with someone, I'd go out and punch a wall. So it's a bit rubbish. And then I used to get in a lot of fights with people. And then I got chucked out of school for about two days. Exclusion. I wasn't upset. I didn't like go into my room and cry, but I was upset inside that they like, my dad didn't live with me anymore. So yeah, I, I was kind of upset and kind of, you know, felt, oh, they're doing their thing, so I'll do my thing. So kind of, um, I didn't listen to them. I, you know, ignore them and just do my own thing and maybe do what they said not to, all that kind of stuff. And they would, you know, tell me off and I'd argue back, say no, all that kind of stuff. It affected me at school as well, like, I was on an A in English and I went down to a U because it was going through the same time as my, some tests and stuff. So it really affects at school if it isn't all right at home. See, like, I put on a happy face at home. I'm, I seemed like I was fine, but I wasn't. And then I got to a stage where I broke down and I ended up walking out one of my classes and just crying into, in, to my mentor and she was trying to discuss it with me. I've grown tougher skin, I'm guessing, yeah. I've, but then again, like, yeah, I've grown tougher skin. But when I have a like, group of people that I'm cool with, that I'm friends with, like, it's made me more like, susceptible to be attached to them. Um, I have people that are older than me that I look up to as father figures and like older brother figures. So yeah, it's made me tougher skin, but at the same time, if I are having a relationship with someone, be it friends or, whatever, it's made me, like, I want that relationship more, to value it more. I don't really mind. I still see my dad a lot. Um, I get money from him and probably a bit more because he's not really, sees me, he doesn't really see me as much. And um, I still go out with him sometimes, so it's good. I mean, the separation between the two of them really affected, I, I think, who I am today and the things that I've done in my life because if it wasn't for the separation and we did come from a sort of happy picture frame family that you would expect, I don't think I would have gone out and done the things that I did. But because I, I think my opportunities are restricted through that, through the split, of, I then went and sought opportunities myself. So that really started within school, you know, I started the school council, then I went to a conference and it all just kind of blossomed out of there, really. I think it's matured me faster. It, like, the separation kind of forced me to mature, to kind of, like, in, like just become more independent and actually be able to cope, to cope with it, to survive, to cope with it. It did affect my confidence at the start. I went very more shy and I wouldn't speak as much and I just bottled everything up. But definitely now, like a year afterwards, I think it's made me more confident. Like it made me more confident for ask for like help and advice at school from other teachers and more confident to speak to my mum and dad about it. And it really helped. Uh, I think my parents' separation has probably 
made it easier because obviously I don't want to, I didn't want my mum and dad to be together. But it's also made made me uh, stronger, you know, in the ways that I can sort of accept that some people aren't as sort of reliable now and it doesn't make me as angry as it used to maybe and I think it's an important lesson to know. If anything it's it made me grow up faster and it made me less dependent because I, I felt like at first I felt like I had to look after myself and I had to look out for me and my brother and I kind of felt like I had to be the rock of the family. So I think that if anything, it's made me stronger.